Apple announced the new Mac Mini. It's tiny, but in the promo video, which is 12 minutes long, there is a claim there that I think we can challenge, maybe debunk, but I'm not sure. On this channel, I have played the role of Apple skeptic. And I will say after watching this announcement, it is going to be harder for me to side against Apple. That's fair. I think the interesting part of this is that Apple is clearly targeting PC users, mm. AKA Josh over here. So this is a great computer for PC users, Intel users making their way over to Apple. So they basically say, hey, we've got a super powerful machine. We think that it's more powerful than Macs of a similar price tag, which when I hear that from Apple, it peaks an asterisk in my head. Cause which price tag are we talking about? In this video, they talk a lot about their new M4 Pro chip. The M4 Pro chip is only in one of their versions of the new Mac mini, and it's the most expensive one. All the other ones are just the M4, which is apparently a significant upgrade. The cool part about this though, is that they are saying the Apple intelligence, which Josh was very much against in the beginning, still am. I still think he is, is available on all of the Mac minis. My problem with Apple intelligence, which is the same as before, there are some tasks that it's useful, like taking notes and turning them into a table. Cool. You can do that yourself. It can summarize emails for you and you get notifications so you know what's actually happening in the email rather than having to open it up and read through it. Like we've been here before. Here's the thing. A lot of people who are using these machines don't need to save that five minutes of time that'll take them. Apple is all about convenience. Like you're paying for convenience. You're paying to get into the ecosystem. You're paying for things to be easier to use. I think the craziest part of this, this entire 12 minute video is them showing the size difference between a PC of a similar power and the new Mac mini, which in a comparison, honestly, is basically the same size as Josh compared to me. That's how tall Josh is. Here's the thing. Today, we're specifically talking about the price tag to power of the Mac mini. And if we can build a PC of comparable power for a comparable price. Let's give it a try. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it right now. First price tag in USD for the Mac mini is what? Five five and ninety nine dollars. Nine. It's a 10 core CPU, a 10 core GPU, a 16 core neural engine, which might be fancy marketing term, 16 gigabytes of unified memory, which is RAM, and a 256 gigabyte SSD for storage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that also comes with four Thunderbolt ports, HDMI port, two USB-C ports. And no port USB port. ports. I'm just gonna say this right now. With the amount of power, 10 and 10, I don't think that we can actually build a PC of similar price point. So we're gonna see how close we can get with a base level PC computer and how close we can actually get it to a Mac of similar spec and size. For now, just for comparison, let's go 10 GPU, 10 CPU, 256 gigabytes of memory and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Yeah. We did actually build a PC with the Threadripper 64 core. If you wanna see that video, it's in the corner of this screen right there. Now we're not really going for specs. We're kind of just going for the cheapest. What was that? Was that 149? Yeah. Okay. This one's got no reviews, but it's also 149, 149, 903, 229. All right. This is looking promising. I think 149 is what we're going to have to good. Go All right. We got the Intel Core i5. Not bad. We're going to add that to the cart. All right. We're cooking. GPU chosen $149. Now we're going to need to add our cooler. You know which, what? Let's just go to the cheapest option. We'll go to the cheapest option. We don't need anything crazy. Compatible. They say that we can just throw this Arctic Alpine on for $1299. Sure. So you know what? All right. Motherboard cheapest. This will bring up every motherboard that is compatible. So, you know, we can just go with something basic. Let's just go with this 6998 one. 64 right. gigabytes. Memory. Now we have to get the same amount of memory because that's on here specifically. Mm -hmm. 16 gigs of unified. So it's going to be two eight gigs. Okay. At 24.99. Now who knows how good this is? Truly, we don't know. Uh, we're looking at 256 gigabytes of storage. All right, 256, yeah. SSD. $112. You're telling me we can get an SSD for $35? That can't be All right. All right, Kingston KC60. What's our total so far? 293.85. 
if we can keep this within another two hundred dollars, we're looking pretty good. We could maybe make it happen. Video card. Now here's where it gets kind of confusing. So the reason that Apple can make their computers so affordable and also so small is PCs have like one brand for a GPU, mm -hmm. one brand for a CPU, and then they have one brand for RAM, right? What Apple's able to do is build their chip that has all of them built into it. That's what's able to reduce the, the size and reduce the price of it too. So it's difficult to find specs that are completely identical. Yeah, what would be the most compatible to yeah. the lowest end here? Let's check it out and see what we got. Video card essentially is one of your most important aspects, mm -hmm. right? So based on the reviews, it's telling us to go with this $279 one. Can we go lower? I mean, that seems so fucking sketch. Two gigabytes of memory on that CPU, on GPU. This is what's going to break the bank. Yeah. This is the one where you have to do a 10 core GPU. Yes. All right. Let's just say 12 core. If we make it 12 core. Okay. So here's the, here's the interesting thing. Usually GPUs aren't measured in cores. They're measured in memory. Yes. That's why this is interesting. Yeah. So 10 core GPU Mac equivalent is what I'm curious of. Okay, well, let's see what we can find. I mean, I guess we probably want like 16 gigs of memory on it, maybe? There's a 0 0.125 I mean, gig of- That's crazy. Ooh. I think we just hoop it here. I think we're like, uh -uh, can't do the low end. Wait, wait, wait. What about this? This is not bad. This is a 3060 12 gigs. Pretty close. For 279.97. Could be good. Let's add this, let's add this. Okay, the budget's already broken. It might be, uh, unless we can find some damn cheap. We're looking at a case, all right. We need a case and we need fans. We're looking for the smallest, most affordable case we can possibly get. $25. $25 case? There we go. Easy. Thermal take Versa H18. Done. $25. Pop it in. Is it small? Is it five inch Probably by five doesn't inch? even come with Probably screws. Not. No problem. Do you think we can even uh, think we even get a five inch by five inch case? There's here? no way. There's no way. All right, power supply. Lay it on me. Cheapest power supply. Wow. Um, let's go with the thermal take one because this sketches. Me yeah, up. the Apiva Captain looks like something that would start a lithium fire in my kitchen. <laughs> Technically, we don't need an operating system. Like it does have Windows 11, but like you can upgrade when you want. So for the sake of it, let's leave it off. Okay. We can put it on. It's if just, we add we, windows. We've just built a $638 set piece for your house. $638 with a $5 discount. As I was saying, the first lowest level is not going to be equivalent in PC. And I can tell you right now, just looking at these parts, the power output is not nearly going to be anywhere that the Mac puts out. No. And that is where my asterisk comes into play. When they say that this new computer is more powerful than its PC opponent, this could be what they're comparing it to because they don't have any specs, they don't say exactly what it's going up against, and these are the tactics that they can use to make the Mac Mini look electric. Coming from someone who loves Macs but builds PCs, the Mac does work pretty seamlessly with everything we use. 100%. There is the potential that this new Mac Mini is better than the rest of them. One thing that I will say about Mac versus PC, this might come across as controversial, Macs are creative machines. They're streamlined built for the applications that people are gonna be using on them. That's the Adobe suite, mm -hmm. which if you've used Premiere on a Mac in the last five years, I salute you, it hasn't been fun. But other than that, there are things that work very well on a Mac and just giving that more juice that comes with the mini will help streamline those creative applications. This is the classic Mac dilemma. Once something new comes out, you can't upgrade that Mac mini. That Mac mini is done. Exactly. You know, if you decide you're starting to, you're starting to do more game design, if you're starting to use your Mac laptop for some architecture program or something like that, you can't just upgrade the RAM. Mm. You have to go out and get a brand new Mac mini or a Mac studio or something. Whereas a PC, you know, if you have the right parts, you can swap it out and plug and play and it's fairly simple. I will tell you the moment when I started to have this subtle vengeance against Mac, what I'll call it. I use Macs, I use them often, but 
I had a 2012 MacBook Pro, 17 inch, back when they made those monster laptops. Oh yeah. And I built a Hackamack. It was awesome. I customized all of the parts, changed them out, and then one day, everything started bleeding its liquid and it stopped working. Now, that was the year that they flipped to everything being soldered on, everything being internal only, Yikes. no external parts, no upgrades. And that was the year that I realized they're just gonna sucker you in to this marketing scheme of continually upgrading your Mac instead of upgrading your computer, you have to buy the new one. Yeah. And that is when I got this little seed of hatred, this little apple seed of hatred, <laughs> if you will. The thing is, is that apple seed of hatred, I feel like just lives for the computers because you do have an Apple Watch and an iPhone I'm being exposed. and AirPods I'm being and exposed. you work every day on a Mac. All right, I got to say. And you have a laptop at home that's a MacBook. I got so I'm just. <laughs> Where does that uh, apple seed, how far does the apple seed of hatred go? Not too far. It's just a little it's sapling. It's a sapling. But just I do have to say my AirPods last 10 minutes. Why?